Good morning. It's May 13th, I think. It's almost 9 o'clock in the morning. Temperature is about 34 degrees Fahrenheit. I just had a hive come in yesterday up from somewhere in California, a colony, a four-pound box, and I'm going to treat it for mites today. I want to treat them as soon as I get them before the queen starts laying because those little mites will hide inside the capped brood and feed on the larva. I don't want that. I want to get all the mites clean. So I'm out here. I've had my box of bees put into a hive. I did that last night. I've got my hive on a piece of insulation and I use polystyrene hives. Next to it, I've got a marine battery. You could use any kind of battery. This is just to charge up the vaporizing wand. So I've got my wand that I ordered off line. Up here, that's how we get a lot of stuff. A lot of our stuff comes from lower 48. Cost me about $25. And this wand has a little, it's like a spoon. And it has a cord, thankfully a long cord that goes to it. And on the end of that cord are two clamps, one positive and one negative. And I attach those clamps to my battery. That charges up the wand and heats up the reservoir. I've got my oxalic acid next to me. It's in a little white container. It says wood bleach. And then above that it says oxalic acid. You want to check the ingredients when you get it and make sure that's all that's in there. I like to protect myself and my area and since my hive, this particular colony, is over back by our birch trees, I've got it on a stand. I've got my battery on a piece of wood and my oxalic acid container and the measuring spoon on a piece of wood as well so that I don't lose track of them and they don't get lost. I don't trip over them. So right now my wand is heating up. I let it heat up and I'll gently touch the back very gently and quickly to make sure it's hot. So I came out first thing in the morning. And because it's chilly, the bees are all inside, except for the ones that discovered I'm over here up to no good. They figured me out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a quarter teaspoon of this oxalic acid into the reservoir of my wand that's hot. And then I'm gonna put it in the bottom of the hive. But before that, I've got to make sure I've got my protective gear on. And so I've got long knee-high neoprene boots on. I've got old jeans on. I've got my bee jacket on. I've also got a respiratory mask on to make sure I don't breathe in any of the gases. And I've got protective glasses as well as my leather gloves. I'm going to put that quarter teaspoon of oxalic acid into the wand away from my face. And I've got the hive plugged up with an old towel. The entrance is plugged up so nobody can get in, no one can get out. And what I do is I take my wand and I pull the towel away just a little bit, just enough to get that wand in there. And I keep it away from my face because I don't want to breathe any of those vapors in. And I slide it in, making sure that it's against the bottom of my hive. Since my hives are polystyrene, this wand will melt them. Now on my bottom board, there's a metal grate which won't melt. And so when I put my wand in, I slide it in somewhat diagonally towards that metal grate and I rest it on that metal grate. I can't see in the hive to make sure that's what's happening, but I can feel it. So I stick that wand in there and I plug the hive back up, nice and tight, and I let it set in there for three minutes. That's how long it's gonna take for that acid to vaporize. I bet you can hear the trucks going by this time of the morning, we get some large truck traffic going by the farm. Noise pollution. Takes away from the sound of the birds and the bees. So I've got that wand in there, and I keep it in for three minutes. I want to make sure that all the areas of my hive are sealed. I don't have to seal them with tape or anything, but I just need to make sure that they're all fitting together correctly so that no bees can get out and no acid vapors can leak out. And as this wand is in there, turning those crystals into a gas, those vapors go throughout the colony. 
and the mites don't like the vapors, which is great. So they fall off. Those little crab-like creatures fall right off. They fall onto the bottom board. We need to treat our bees for mites. Some people have said they think that we shouldn't because bees will evolve to become mite resistant. But up here, our season is so short that things that we do aren't likely to help the evolution of bees. Maybe in terms of winter ability, if that's a word. But our bees won't make it through winter if we don't treat for mites. Varroa mites can spread from colony to colony. They suck the lifeblood out of your bees. They transmit viruses like deformed wing virus and acute bee paralysis virus. They will spread to the other colonies around the area of which we live. Even though we live on a farm, there's other beekeepers around. There's other viruses that they can transmit. They mess with the ability of the bees a system that helps them thermoregulate. The colony won't build up as well. All kinds of bad things. So treating them first thing in the spring is wise. I'll also treat them again in the fall, just in case they've caught some mites from another colony, or maybe I've missed some. The mite population can grow very quickly inside of a hive, particularly in winter when everything's closed up. So you probably don't know this, but I've had a timer on. It's been three minutes. What I'm going to do is going to gently pull that towel slowly away from one corner of the hive where I've stuck that wand in and gently pull it out. Inevitably, I've gotten a bee or two on there. I'm going to pull it out and have my face away from the reservoir of that wand to make sure that if there's any leftover vapors that I don't inhale them. That can do some serious damage. So I'm doing that very carefully and very slowly. And then I've got a piece of wood that I'm going to set that wand on. I'll knock off the dead bees, if there are any, and any remaining vapors. And then I'll clean up my stuff, keep that hive plugged up for just a little bit to make sure all the vapors are going throughout the hive. And then I will remove the towel that I have, plugging the entrance, and so the bees can come out. It's going to be a gorgeous day today. There's no clouds in the sky. It'll probably get up to a high of 60 degrees Fahrenheit. We've got all kinds of pollen out. The pollen count is high. We've got birch, spruce, aspen, willow. We don't have anything blooming yet. So this has been a subarctic beekeeper, one of the many. I hope this was helpful. Of course, everything is copyrighted and all rights reserved. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for listening. Bye.